Um, yeah, yeah, village, village, like Ness and BBB. That was somewhere up there. Anyhow, jumping into game one, we're going to be seeing FC Will. We saw him a little bit earlier today against Movado's Pac Man. Oh, that's exciting. I know he's been talking about playing Pac Man for a while. Never actually really seen it besides like a couple of times. Um, so I'll be excited to see how it does. Ooh, he tries to set up into like an up throw potential lead grab scenario. Um, like Pac Man's, they can either like mix up an up throw into up air, or if they air dodge, they can get a really, really nice lead grab um, at, at from zero. Oh my god, so much damage already. Just from a hydrant and like a falling forwarder. Yo, he's controlling center stage so, so strongly right now. FC just can't seem to get any ground for himself. Um, I love the way that uh, Mamato is covering the airspace with, with Hydrant and just like sort of catching... Uh, sort of catching all of... all of FC Will's jump-ins. I have returned. Okay, thank you for waiting. Good, good side beat. Um, yeah, FC Will was like certainly not expecting um, Mamato to go back aggressively. You kind of expect Pac-Man to do the, the same kind of set things when he's in disadvantage, coming back from the uh, off stage. And side B usually isn't one of them. But now that he's done it, like it's probably gonna be a lot harder to catch him. Ooh, great F tilt to punish the uh, the lift grab. Oh wow, that that hitbox is so so menacing, especially when it's like extended on shield like that. It is it is that move is ridiculously active. It's like what frame thirteen and and, and active for however long. Pac-Man's F smash is genuinely ridiculous, and it's crazy yeah. how he had the stock deficit and has managed to heal sixty six percent already. This is a uh, Pac-Man specialty is literally just wrecking on that damage when he gets one hit on at low percents. But you gotta be careful because uh, it can be really difficult to confirm that kill unless your opponent gives you this kill. Yeah, definitely. I like the way like how Mavado's like playing really patiently at center stage. Like he's not pushing it like when he doesn't have to, he's taking the time to set up um, one of his bonus food or or um, you know, just like trying to set up his hydrant a little bit. And he's like forcing FC Will to be the one constantly breaking up space because FC Will obviously doesn't want him to set up, uh, like to set up shop. Ooh, okay. A lot of airplay here from uh, from Novato. Mm -hmm. FC, wow, once again, another really, really nice F tilt at ledge there. Good, yeah. good, like mix ups and errors FC Will is landing too. Like, he definitely seems to fake Movado out. Movado had like no clue how he's gonna land, like, dash dancing back and forth. Good, like, mix ups crossing him up and going back with the dodge. Yo, <laughs> kind of, what is going on? I, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Well, like, we're seeing, like, the biggest aspect of the matchup for uh, Pac-Man is, like, yeah, he has, like, kill power in spades, but if you don't give, if your opponent doesn't give you the opportunity to kill properly, you're gonna have a tough time, actually, like, finishing stocks off. Yeah. I see, well, he's, he's, like, oh my god, that was so good. He was so patient. He knew that he w didn't want to land into the grab, so he was like, you know what, I might as well just let Pac-Man get away with this rather than losing the stock here. He is just maneuvering himself around Avado's hitboxes so well. Um, I feel like it just really, really using the most out of this character's mobility. Is Movado gonna lose another stock to grab? And by which I mean, is he is Movado gonna die again because he decided to grab for like the third time? Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe. I'm not trying to anticipate attack and attack you all in. Oh, nice up smash! Mm -hmm. Use the hydrant to try to make it safe in case it uh, whiffs. Yeah, would have pushed him back, would have pushed FC Will into the F smash. The F smash also like preventing where he could land. I think that was really, really calculated on Mavado's part. Trying to set up something with the Galaxian. Finally able to find it. Only dealing 34% though. The low percent combos on Galaxian are just terrifying. They do so yeah. much. You can definitely. Oh my goodness, that's that golf club swing. Or that, uh, that club swing. <laughs> you got golf club. I, I, want, I want like a bonk sound effect. Bonk! You know, like the little like, wiffle ball bat like, and bonk sound effects. It's like... Let's see if I can find something. You brought, you brought, a, ha you brought a hammer to a sword fight and fucking cringe. Oh, excuse me. Cringe. And then and then just like a big, big old <laughs> bonk. I forget. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will, I will be. I will be. 
PG rated G rather. Anyhow, I mean, you want this, right? Yes. Oh my God, yeah, of course. Devin, we Devin has to add that to the official soundboard when we're back. <laughs> the soundboard's still here, isn't it, Devin? My boy, huh? my boy's not paying attention. What? <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, so I was just like, man, we should really have a, uh, we should have the bonk sound effect on the soundboard. You know, this bonk sound effect. <laughs> All right. <laughs> For when Roy, uh, when Roy pe kills people with his gigantic club. Yeah, maybe when we're back at real Zeno. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think it should be for DDD. Only DDD. That would be so cool. Now, DDD has a sound effect, and it's literally someone hitting a, a gigantic a, stake yeah. with a, with a, with Wait, a, with you like a hammer. DDD's DDD's no, it's throwing a stake against the wall. Though, actually, his name, DDD's media, uh, um, excuse me, his hammer sound effects are literally his name. Like when he hits up here, it does like a DDD. I don't hear that, but okay. <laughs> it, no, it says his name. I'll take your word for it. It's so cool. Oh, you know DDD oh my cool. goodness! <laughs> They're nice wind bogs, bro. He got sent flying. It's oh. like the, it's like when you see those clips of like Rob throwing his gyro into Hydrant and the, the, the gyro just goes like super fast and does like 80 damage. Mm -hmm. It's like that, but like with Roy instead for some reason. That's my favorite property of the game, just the fact that they're projectiles whose damage is based off of how fast they're moving or how much they're spinning. Yeah, that's uh... Diddy's Banana is another one that does the same, but obviously it doesn't kill you outright if it hits you at like 99 miles an hour. Like Rob against Zelda, whenever the Phantom uh, Windbox pushes the gyro, it's it's so funny. Oh my He's goodness. Going, new. Oh! <laughs> he stared death in the face and was like, I have a bell for you. Yeah. Oh wow, he just runs up and grabs him, super, super confident in his approach there right now, Mavado. He's just trying to... I feel like he could definitely like try to set up shop a little bit more there, go down a hydrogen or something. He's like... <laughs> Why is my father on something I'm playing Pac Man? Oh, he's dead again! Like, frame one! I don't. I don't understand. Okay, that was pointless fruit. Yeah, I don't think he was anticipating it for it to get like, knocked back. I think he like wanted the, the dropped item to, to sort of fly into his hands. I don't know. I feel like Pac Man do that sometimes. Yeah, that is uh, very common with, uh, with, with uh, orange. Movado's been getting so many like parry timings. I feel like he's really confident as to when FC Will is timing his falling aerials. He's just been getting them so so often. Um, oh wow! That was interesting. The wind pushed him off. Interesting. Wow! That was so well placed from Will. He just he just stopped in place. That was impeccable. Honestly, couldn't have been spaced better. Yeah, and there's Pac-Man's uh, very slow F smash coming to play. Yeah, that move is once again ridiculous. It lasts for so long. That move is ridiculous. Getting jab into Foyru, just look how patient he is. Also, like, um, you know, Koinu pressure in Novato is keeping him in the Koinu, catching that, um, you know, the the, the, the back air in. FC Will looks so confident this game. Yeah, no, he's definitely got the, uh, it definitely seems like he has the match figured out. I'm not really sure why Movado didn't opt to change. He does have two other good characters in the next year. Mm -hmm. But I guess he's, uh, this is Wi-Fi, so it's like, yeah, just try to learn more about some random characters and just playing them, right? Look at the way that he is treating the coin. He is making Movado terrified. I, I honestly, I really love the way he's, he's, like, making the most out of this. I feel like every single time he's cloning somebody, he's either taking the stock with an early F tilt or just dealing so much damage. This is like a really, really good understanding. From across the stage. I think my father forget is forgetting that even though Pac Man's grab got buffed a lot in between uh, Smash 4 and Ultimate, it's still not a great grab. Especially against a character that's as mobile as Roy, who can get in like really close to you and punish you very hard for whiffing things like that. I just feel like it's super situational where it's it's I mean it's a great grab because like you can